video, I'm going to be showing you how I cream and powder contour and highlight my face. So I'm going to start with creams and the reason why I'm doing both of them is because even if you do creams, you still want to set your creams with powder. So if you don't really care about creams and you're just here for the powders, this right here in between my hands, I'm going to put the time that the powder products come into play. So you can just go ahead and skip to that and just skip over all the creams. So I just figured I could do both of them in one video since you basically need powders to do the creams anyways. Before we start, I do want to say that this is how I personally highlight and contour my face and there are so many different ways that you can do it depending on your face shape. I'm just going to give you general ideas and basically what I do for my face shape because everybody's face is different. But generally anything that you highlight you're pushing forward and want to stand out. Anything that you're contouring you want to push back and kind of carve out. So keep that in mind when you're doing it because if there's something that I'm highlighting that you wouldn't want to highlight just think about that when we're doing it. But yeah let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with priming. I'm I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the smoothing one that they have in the primer line. Then you want to add a thin layer of your foundation. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation because this is becoming my favorite foundation right now. So I'm just going to do one pump. Usually I would do about two pumps to give me a fuller coverage, but because we're going to be adding so many products to the skin, you only want a thin layer of everything. I'm using a Sigma F80 brush to blend out my foundation. Now I'm going to conceal slash highlight the face. To do this, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I'm just going to take this straight down in this triangular motion and then highlight the other high points of my face. So down the center of the nose, in the center top of the forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. Right here on the cupid's bow, I want to point out a lot of people will take their concealer right in the center of that cupid's bow area and just highlight that whole area. That will kind of highlight that area, but the two lines that connect up to your nose on your cupid's bow, that is where you want to highlight because those are what kind of are lifted and higher up. And the center part, where a lot of people tend to highlight, actually goes down. So by highlighting that center part, you're actually doing the opposite effect. So if you highlight the two lines like that and then do the top part of your lip, that is really what is going to make your lip look bigger and make that area look more plump. I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics brush. It's double-ended. It's got a big foundation side on this side. And then this little guy here. I forgot that I was using this, so I would have used this for my foundation. But um, I'm going to use the smaller side to blend out the concealer and then go back and forth with this end to help blend it out as well. majority of the time I see people when they contour and highlight they do all of the highlighting shapes and then they do all of the contouring and then they blend it out. For me it's a little bit harder to do that way. I find that it ends up not looking exactly how I want it to look and it's not as precise because I'm very precise with where I put certain things. So I like to blend it out first and then contour and then I'll go back and touch up the highlighted areas. So if you find that you have a hard time with contouring and highlighting and you're doing it that way, try doing each step completely before moving on to the next. So completely highlighting and then blending it out and then contouring and then completely blending it out and see if that helps. So now that you are all highlighted and it's all blended out, I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown foundation stick. So I'm going to take my contour stick and I'm going to take the edge of it. I'm not going to take it flat up like this. I'm going to take it on the side on the angle like that. Generally you want the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth to be that shape, that angle that you want. You also don't want to pass the corner of your eye. For the most part. If you want it to be more intense, you can pass that area, but if you want it to look the most natural, you basically want it to be right here. Okay. 
and now before that sets I'm just going to blend it out I'm not going to make any more lines on my face I'm going to use this double-ended brush from crown I like this stippling side here you want to make sure that you are using a synthetic brush when you are applying any kind of cream products this foundation stick is so unique because it blends out so easily it blends like you're blending out butter it's like I don't I can't even explain it but it's so nice and so easy to use You want to keep blending up that contour color up into the blush area where you would apply your blush so don't try to keep that away and separate from each other just blend it up naturally you just want to make sure that it doesn't hit higher than your cheekbone area then just apply it to other areas that you want to contour I bring that contour all around my forehead and even on the sides a lot of people like to highlight their cheekbone all the way up into the hairline I was doing that for a while but I have a really round face so I very very lightly with like any excess product on my brush will bring it down right in this area here just to make sure that that isn't being so prominently stuck out because I feel like that makes my face look a little bit more round And this is really important to make sure that you really blend it out down your neck. You do not want this to be a harsh line at all. So really make sure that you blend this out really, really well. And I always, always, always contour my nose. And when I blend it out, I always use my finger. For some reason, I just have a lot of issues blending it out with a brush. So I'm just going to use my finger like I usually do. And now I like to go back in with my concealer just to reinforce that highlighted effect. So I like to go just on my nose area and right underneath the contour. So here I'm just taking that concealer and going right underneath that contour right where I want it to be more defined and then just blend that out with your concealer brush. And then to make it so that it's not a literal line that you have between your contour and highlight, I go back in with my contour brush just to diffuse that line so it's not like an actual stripe on your face. So now all we want to do is set this in place. So this is where the powder products come in. If you're here just for the powder portion of this video, just ignore any of the lines that we already have. We're going to be doing the exact same thing that we would do if the lines weren't there from previously cream contouring. So I'm using the Pro Emphasize Shaping Powder to highlight the under eye area as well as my nose. I'm not using this for the whole face just because it is such a bright, stark white powder. For the rest of the face that's highlighted, I'm gonna use a mixture of these two colors from the Anastasia Contour Kit to highlight those areas. I'm going to set the entire face with the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural from MAC in the shade Medium Plus before I go in and set the contour areas with a contour powder. Yeah. 
whenever you are cream highlighting and contouring, you want to make sure that you are completely finished with any cream products before you use a powder product because otherwise it's not going to lay on your face and it can tend to look a little bit muddy and just not good. So just make sure that you powder after you are completely done with creams. So next we are going to bronze. If you didn't do the cream portion of this video, you still want to make sure that you bronze. I think that this just looks the most natural when you are doing any kind of contouring because anytime that you fade a product from light to dark, it's going to give dimension and make it look more realistic and like it's more natural. That's why whenever you do an eyeshadow look, you start with a lighter beige kind of color and then work up to your darker, warmer colors that you're using. For instance, I wouldn't just do a smoky eye with just this dark color. It doesn't look like it has any dimension if I do that. So if you use the lighter colors and then layer it and layer it and layer it and put the dark on last, that's going to make it look like it has more depth to it. So. With that being said, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze in 35i. I'm going to bronze the skin. Bronzing is a lot different than contouring because bronzing is a more broad area on the face that you are putting color to. It's gonna be where the sun would naturally hit your face and it's going to be a lot more diffused where contouring is a lot more structured and has more precise areas that you put it. So now we are going to contour with the powder products and we're going to set the cream. I'm going to mix these two colors from the Anastasia Contour Kit. Because I have more of a tan, I'm going to mix it with this darker shade, but usually I just use this middle shade here because it is a light, more taupey color. I'm going to use the NARS Eda brush to do this. And again, you want to make sure that you're staying right back here at the top of the ear, down to the corner of the mouth and not past your eyeball. So I'm contouring the cheekbones around the forehead, jawline, and also my nose. And again, for powders, I still use my fingers to contour with. Before I add any shimmery highlight, I'm going to add my blush. I'm using Rosy Outlook from MAC and I'm going to apply it with a 168 brush. To highlight my cheekbones, I'm using Moonstone from Becca and I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. This is a setting brush, but I like it for highlighting. Also putting this right in the center of the nose and with my finger, I'm gonna go right over what we highlighted on the Cupid's bow. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face. I'm gonna do my lips and the under eye area and then I will be back and show you the completed look. Now that the rest of my makeup is on, I'm just going to set everything with the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray from Urban Decay and just make sure that it all stays in place. All right, and that is everything. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any requests for anything else, please let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to check out my info box. I have all my information there. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.